Welcome back to our channel of Living in Vancouver, Washington. You're going to want to stick around today because we're going to take you on a tour of the upcoming 2023 Parada Homes in Philida, Washington. What's so unique about Philida? Why does this neighborhood make such a great place for new homes? It's a great community. It's a small community. It's centrally located. Uh, it has a lot to offer. You know one of the things that I like is it's just far enough west from the freeways. Now, not too far because you're 15 minutes to get on any freeway, I-5 or 205, to get you north or south. But what I like is that you cannot hear freeway noise from Philida. It's right. It's got shopping. It's got restaurants. It's oh, what's your to... What's your favorite coffee shop in Philida? Probably... Creed coffee. I love Creed. They make the best yeah. oat milk lattes for me, but here and not to mention the shopping that's just located right there. Arctana, great shoes, that's great because, clothing. That's because you like to shop for clothes. If I mean, come on. Well, I'm guilty. <laughs> she, she is guilty. As for me, I like the new champagne bar, the new wine bar that's just down the street. Bubbles and... Corks and bubbles? Corks and bubbles, yeah. It was a great spot. I'm so glad they came to town. I think Falaita is truly about kind of walkability now that we have a few shops. It's more walkable than it ever used to be. It's got great schools. Do you know much about the schools? And I know this is all subjective. It is. Uh, yeah, it's a couple of the schools, they're very well rated. Uh, they are good. I know a lot of um, families that go there are friends of mine, so they say nothing but great things about them. And you know if they're a friend of Kay's, they may just be a friend of yours too. We you never, never know. know. <laughs> but hey, um, and today we're actually standing outside of Philida Park. Philida Park is a, do you want to tell them about Philida Park? Well, it's a great location if you've got dogs. It is a park that people come to to walk around and bring their kids to play. Um, tons and tons of dogs meet here every, every day to play ball together. That's because you are a dog lover, but there's more than just dogs playing ball. If you have kids that are playing soccer, there are a lot of soccer practices that happen here and on the weekends there are a lot of soccer games. There's a paved trail that walks, that, that walks, the paved trail walks. Um, the paved trail goes around the park so that if you have somebody that's playing or practicing, you can get some exercise in too. Do you know how long that walk is? Is mm. it a couple miles? Probably, I don't know. probably further than I want to walk, but you would want to walk. So the other thing that is just located right here too, there's a veterinary clinic. There is a restaurant called Ferrars, which is a great bistro. It has great happy hour, indoor, outdoor seating. Um, it great food. Yeah, and you're really just sandwiched between um, Hazel Lakeshore to the south and Salmon Creek on the north. You have great access on the, what side is that, the west side of the Salmon Creek Trail. Um, you're really convenient to grocery stores. How far are we from Chuck's, Fred Meyer's? Oh, just a, just a few miles, uh, maybe, maybe a seven minute car. So do you know anything about the builders that are going to be in this year's Parade of Homes? Cascade West is a local developer who is really um, detailed, they're custom home, uh, they have built in several of the Parade of Homes in the last couple of years, so they are a experienced Parade of Home builders. And then there's a new one that, I mean, we probably shouldn't say new, but Marnella Homes um, is new to us right now, and they are really your green builder, and that's what they're showcasing here in the 2023 Parade of Homes. So the other one is um, Kingston Home. Uh, I love Kingston Homes. They are. Luxury, sustainability are some of their key um, items that they really build to. Uh, they've been in the area for for some time, so they have quite a reputation in this area as well. There's a fourth builder. Do we know who the fourth builder is? It is Cascade West, Kingston, Cascade West. Quail Homes. Do you, and what you, you really like Quail Homes too, don't you? I do. They started out uh, as a little bit a smaller, smaller neighborhood builder. Uh, they've got a couple of developments that are up and coming here. Some one out in Ridgefield. Uh, I think there's one in the general Vancouver area that's going to be built. Um, they're working on those. So I think you'll be pleasantly, nice home. it is, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by the builders in this parade of homes. I, I think you have four quality builders out there. I think you're going to see some fantastic homes. Um, and Kay, what do you look at? We've been, we've been talking about this a little bit. What is it that you see when you walk into a home that maybe I don't see? So some of the things that I walk in, when I walk into a home, some of the things that I look for are light. 
um, when you walk into the front door, can you see directly out uh, all the way through the house and out the back door into, say, the backyard or the property wherever it's being built? It just get it, it lends you, it pulls you in. Uh, and then once you get into the house, some of the items that I look at, stairs, some of the construction of the stairs, is there uh, a great railing on it? Uh, the details, the flooring. So would you say that uh, you're bougie and I'm basic? I wouldn't call you basic. Okay. By any means. Maybe not. <laughs> there are a lot of bougie. bougie. <laughs> Kay really likes those high end art skills. She sees the details, and I walk in sometimes like a bull in a china shop. I just want to know that there's a place for me and that it feels good when I walk in. I may not see the artistry of the builder. I may not see the artistry of the builder, um, but I can feel it and I know what I don't like. I would say it's almost like a fine wine. Listen, you can take a girl out of the cove and give her some wine, but I'm not going to be able to tell you what notes are in it or what the smells and the flavors are, but I'm going to tell you if I like it or not. I'm do opinionated. You, when you come out of a house, do you remember what the colors were, what the tile looked like, what the lighting no. looked like? No, but I remember how the home makes me feel. Yeah. Those are the kinds of things that I remember is the feel of walking in a home. I don't know why, yeah. but you would know the why to everything. You'd say because... Not everything. Well, almost everything. <laughs> you would say these are placed here and this is placed at this level and this is the extra detail. And, um, you know, Ashley's an illustration major and what she taught me is you don't know what's missing until it's missing. Right. But you know what you like when all the detail is input in there. So, again... It is a great group of builders, great location here in Philida. And if you have any questions on Philida, be sure to reach out. We'd be happy to answer those questions.